on Friday against Orlando dumping it off Flynn to Birch back over to Flynn sidestep wide open corner three Boucher no surprise with this guy but now you're getting other players stepping up and taking advantage of the opportunity they have here jumper doesn't go for Flynn Kim Birch undrafted jo Joel Anthony undrafted second game of a four game road trip and Malachi Flynn, his jumper doesn't go. Trent Jr., the three, got it. Yeah, good hang time, good body control. Bogoshevsky with the three, doesn't go. He just held it up there after he knocked it down. Boy, he is just throwing flames. Reminds you what he did against Utah as Boucher sent Pokashevsky to the deck and still racks up the three. Boucher has knocked down a pair of threes. He's got 10 points. Flynn's been doing a really nice job of taking care of the basketball, Matt. You know, he explores his options. A little bit of a tough shot there, but last three games, 18 assists. 24-23, Thunder by one. Flynn fires away and the three doesn't go. Coming from a little bit later in life, where maybe opportunity was a little bit more, he said of Montreal basketball, Matt Leo. He said Montreal represents tough-minded individuals. It all starts on the defensive end, and he said it comes from the underdog mentality in Montreal. He said, in a basketball sense, we're not a city that has gotten a huge amount of representation. And flourishing at the NBA level, the highest level now. As Flynn, oh, nice move, operates his way through the paint in a 10-point game. I'll tell you that might have been a good opportunity to take a charge right there. Basley gained some speed from a fair distance away. Take that opportunity to step in. Raptors mixing up their looks here, and it doesn't go on the weak side. Melodone with it quickly now into the front court, and a foul is going to be charged to Malachi Flynn. And that's his first miss from three. And Trent using that left arm, getting some space. Missed extended time in the COVID protocol. So he came back, worked his way back, had a big time game. I'm not shocked that after that. Watson, Bogoshevsky went for it. Here's Flynn on the feed from Watson, and Flynn knocks it down from Whitehorse. As they have all said, no one's had it more difficult than the Raptors not being able to play back home in Toronto. As that three-pointer is good, it's 88-85 here. His leadership is going to be critical coming down the stretch over the last eight minutes. And these are great learning experiences, and you got to find a defender. Got to, got to take a little extra time and make sure where that ball's going. Here's nice Flynn, pass. the three, Tim swish. Birch. How about that pass from Birch? Thunder by four. Flynn, now good job there, just, just playing with the ball. All I know is it better be sunny. And there's Birch. Gary Trent Jr., Birch, Flynn. And the three is good for Flynn. And Toronto's up by one. Flynn working with Birch. Dort got a piece of it. Here's Trent Jr. Let's it fly. And it's good. And again, the Raptors got to take care of business, right? They're learning a lesson the hard way. Turning, firing. Ooh. And Pokushevsky with the rebound. 102, 102 with 245 to play. Melodone sends it now. Pogoshevsky shot doesn't go. Second chance. Brown unable to handle it. It's Flynn with it into the front court. Malachi sends it over to Boucher. Bucket and book it. Raptors, the last time they won three in a row was back in February. And they were putting things together to get back to 500. And the spin move doesn't go and then Brown unable to Flynn jumper doesn't go Thunder haven't scored